And now let's return to John chapter 10. In John 9, with the formerly blind man standing there, Jesus said, I entered this world to render judgment, to give sight to the blind and to show those who think they see that they are blind. Some Pharisees who were standing nearby heard him and asked, Are you saying that we're blind? Jesus replied, If you were blind, you wouldn't be guilty of sin, but you remain guilty because you claim you can see. I think the formerly blind man would have been greatly comforted to find out that the Son of Man that he worshipped was now his shepherd and the gate for the sheep. John 10.10 is a frequently memorized verse because of Jesus' promise, life in all its fullness. John 10, starting at verse 11. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd who is willing to die for the sheep. When the hired man who is not a shepherd and does not own the sheep sees a wolf coming, he leaves the sheep and runs away. So the wolf snatches the sheep and scatters them. The hired man runs away because he is only a hired man and does not care about the sheep. I am the good shepherd. As the Father knows me, and I know the Father, in the same way I know my sheep, and they know me, and I am willing to die for them. There are other sheep which belong to me that are not in this sheep pen. I must bring them too, and they will listen to my voice, and they will become one flock with one shepherd." The Father loves me because I am willing to give up my life in order that I may receive it back again. No one takes my life away from me. I give it up of my own free will. I have the right to give it up, and I have the right to take it back. This is what my Father has commanded me to do. Again, there was a division among the people because of these words. Many of them were saying, He has a demon! He's crazy! Why do you listen to him? But others were saying, A man with a demon couldn't talk like this. How could a demon give sight to blind people? It was winter, and the festival of the dedication of the temple was being celebrated in Jerusalem. Jesus was walking in Solomon's porch in the temple when the people gathered around him and asked, How much longer are you going to keep us in suspense? Tell us the plain truth. Are you the Messiah? Jesus answered, I have already told you, but you would not believe me. The deeds I do by my Father's authority speak on my behalf, but you will not believe, for you are not my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never die. No one can snatch them away from me. What my Father has given me is greater than everything, and no one can snatch them away from the Father's care. The Father and I are one. Then the people again picked up stones to throw at him. Jesus said to them, I have done many good deeds in your presence, which the Father gave me to do. For which of these do you want to stone me? They answered, We don't want to stone you because of any good deeds, but because of your blasphemy. You are only a man, but you are trying to make yourself God. Jesus answered, It is written in your own law that God said, You are gods. We know that what the Scripture says is true forever, and God called those people gods, 
the people to whom his message was given. As for me, the Father chose me and sent me into the world. How then can you say that I blaspheme because I said that I am the Son of God? Do not believe me then if I'm not doing the things my Father wants me to do. But if I do them, even though you do not believe me, you should at least believe my deeds in order that you may know once and for all that the Father is united to me, and I am united with the Father. Once more they tried to seize Jesus, but he slipped out of their hands. Jesus then went back across the Jordan River to the place where John had been baptizing, and he stayed there. Many people came to him. They said, John performed no miracles, but everything he said about this man was true, and many people there believed in him. Allow me to start us today in prayer. Lord Jesus, you were not the Messiah they wanted. They wanted a Messiah that they could control rather than a Messiah who loved them so much that he would die for them. They said they wanted you to speak plainly, but the more plainly you spoke, the quicker they picked up stones to kill you. You told them the plain truth when you said, You will not believe because you are not my sheep. Lord, we're so thankful that you called us to be your sheep. That's why we believe in you, and that's why we follow you. Thank you for the tremendous promise. They shall never die. We shall never die. Thank you that you hold us securely, and you are not alone in that. Your Father holds us as well. Your promise is that no one can snatch us away from you and your Father. Lord, there are many voices that tell us that your words are too good to be true. Satan and his forces, whose mission is to steal, kill, and destroy, tell us not to believe these things. But help us, by your power, to believe every incredibly wonderful promise you tell us in your word.